Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I am hanging out in Bermuda right now. I have never spent the night in Bermuda. I've been here a couple times. In fact, you guys flew along with me once uh, over here and back, but it's always just been come over and drop off and leave or come over and pick up and leave. So I've never spent the night until now. And it is just gorgeous here. We left the Northeast uh, yesterday afternoon and it was like 30 degrees overcast and kind of rainy and nasty. We get here, it's like 77 and just stunningly beautiful. So um, I'm, I'm at the Grotto Bay Resort, I think is what this place is called. Really nice property, really well-maintained, very modern, very nice. Uh, so let me turn you around and let you guys see out my window out the balcony. This is what I woke up to this morning. How awesome is this? No, this is not a river that runs through. This is just a, a canal of the ocean, basically, runs through. There's a bridge over there. That's what you have to cross to get to the airport. In fact, you can kind of see the airport over there. There's the tower if you look past the palm tree. See American Airlines tail sticking up over there. They've got a brand new terminal over there. It looks really nice. Haven't been into that one. Uh, the FBO on the other side of the airport is where we go. But, uh, but yeah, this is Bermuda. So the property has some really cool features to it that I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna go for a little walk here and bring you guys along, of course, and, uh, and go check it out. The one thing that I really wanna see that uh, I stuck my head in very briefly a minute ago, they have a cave over here. If you guys have, uh, have watched the videos for a long time, you may know that I love caves. I love getting under, underground, it's really cool. And, uh, and this one actually has a cave with an underground uh, pool, a natural spring under there that you can go swimming in. Unfortunately, I came very uh, underprepared, didn't bring any swimming trunks, just like the Barbados deal, I, I came very ill-prepared. I gotta learn my lesson on this. But anyway, we'll go down there. Maybe we'll, we'll dip our toes in and, uh, and feel how, how cold the water is. But uh, let's grab a flashlight. We're gonna go for a walk. Cathedral Cave opens at 9 a.m. It's 9.06. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this. This is so cool. <clears throat> Let's read the warning. Okay, I accept the risk. Slippery when wet, boys and girls. Let's be careful, nobody get hurt. Check this out, guys. What, what? Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> Look at this. No diving. We will not do any diving. Open for swimming. Guys, this is just so cool. Let me get a flashlight on this so you guys can see a little better. Look at that. I wonder how deep that is. I really want to get in that. This reminds me of the, uh, <clears throat> the cenotes down in Mexico, where you can go swimming in caves like this. This is just something else, guys. Let's go for a walk up here. I don't know what's up here. going not gonna lie it's a little creepy right now guys I'm solo oh, it's getting tight it's getting tight oh guys oh man I think this is where it ends or at least it's where they don't want you to go any farther anyway but oh I see a plank Maybe we can continue. Oh, guys, oh my God, this is so cool, guys. Not gonna lie, it's a little creepy. Ooh, little slippery. Don't fall. If I die in here, somebody finds my camera. Tell my wife and kids I love them. Keeps on going down. Oh my God. I'm going to 
bust my butt on these rocks. Oh, there's another spring. Guys, this is just something else. Yeah. You can see where a lot of people have broken off the stalactites off the ceiling. That's unfortunate. Those things take a long time to build. You can see this uh, column right here has been broken. Hopefully it's not a structural thing. <laughs> Because <laughs> that could be bad. You can see right there, there's one of the stalactites that have broken off. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's a lot of them on the ground. So those things take a while. That was a big one there that broke. Oh, wow, you can see where the ground shifted on this one. All right, let me see if I can get up here. Yeah, you can see where this shifted at one point. It was attached right there. That's like a foot that the ground shifted. Oh, come on, people are writing on this stuff. That's unfortunate as well. But uh, yeah, you can see where the whole thing shifted and I'm underneath it. That could be a problem. And yeah, you can see same thing here. When the ground shifted, it broke that whole column. That was a natural break. Very cool. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies, seeing how much this stuff has shifted over, over the years at some point. Let's take a look over there. Let's go for a little walk, just a little one. Wow, this is something else. Oh, it goes around the corner keeps on going. Oh my goodness. All right. Get my bearings here so we can make our way back out. I don't have any string to make a path for the return. Oh, here's another little, little pool. Wow. Just amazing. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, all right, that's as far as I dare go with the equipment that I currently possess right now. We don't need to get lost up in this place. So I'm gonna work my way back over here. Maybe we'll go dip our toes in that spring. What do you think? Guys, this pool is just awesome. Awesome stuff right here. I did not expect to see this when I came to Bermuda today. Right, let's go check this water out. I bet it's a little chilly. I really want to get in, but I have to strip down to the birthday suit. And I don't think that's a good idea today. All right, let's not drop the camera. Don't drop the camera, Sean. Ooh, water was closer than I thought it was. It's actually not that cold. It's, uh, it's chilly, but it's not as cold as I expected it to be. I guess we're not that deep underground, so yeah. This is just really cool. Look at this behind me. Look at this. This is like a postcard right here, guys. Yeah. These people have definitely, definitely hit the jackpot with this property because this is, this is just something else. I'm so glad they left it open where we can come in here and check it out. If this was the United States, this would be completely closed off and you know, gates and nobody's allowed in. But this place, home run on this property. Grotto Bay, I think it is, all right? Yeah, there's a sign, Grotto Bay Beach Resort. 
definitely check this place out if you guys ever come over here to Bermuda. So, all right, let's get out of here. Let's go find something else to check out. So I just discovered that there's a second section of the cavern system. Uh, it's actually right here behind me. There's a, there's a door over here. It's, it's closed off right now. Well, it's, it's unlocked, but uh, they don't want us going in right now because there's a, a spa treatment going on right now. Uh, there's a picture of it right here, so, so check this out. They have it set up inside there where they have spa set up, where, a, a massage area set up where you can go in there in the caverns and get a massage. That is so freaking cool. If they finish up their current spa treatment, where I can get you guys in there and have a look at it, I absolutely will. But I don't know if we can get in there before I have to leave. No promises. So we'll see what happens. If I can get in there here in a little while and, uh, and show you guys that, I definitely will. Not so much for you guys, but I want to see it. So we'll see what happens here in a few minutes. Uh, meantime, I'm going to go walk around a little bit, see what this place has to offer. One little thing I learned about uh, uh, Bermuda, check out these buildings. These are the, the rooms that we're staying in. If you notice, they all have white roofs. I just learned um, last night, actually, our taxi driver was telling us about the, uh, the roof system here in, in Bermuda. It's all lime. It's all natural lime because that's how they get their water. There's no natural uh, rivers or lakes or anything in Bermuda. So the only way for them to really collect a significant amount of clean, fresh drinking water is through rain. So they figured out a way to create the roof system to collect the water. Well, then they figured out that beneath the, uh, the ground here in Bermuda is natural limestone. So they've used that natural limestone, burned off all the, the excess rock and stone, created just a pure natural white lime, and they've created roofs out of it. And then when it, when it rains, it runs across the lime on the roofs, goes down into this pretty cool gutter system, goes down to a holding tank beneath the building, and that's how they get their drinking water. Like, how sweet is that? Like, everybody in the U.S. whines and complains that we don't have enough drinking water. Bottled water is twice as much as fuel. Here in Bermuda, they just collect it off their roofs, filter it through the roof, and then drink it. Like, it's so smart, so easy, so intelligent. So, uh, really cool system. I'm actually on top of one here. Check this out. You can see, it's just a natural white lime. Super clean. Except for a little bit of dirt on that one. This one actually doesn't have the, uh, the gutter system, so this one's not going to be used for drinking, I suppose. But all of these up here behind me, if you notice, they all have a little gutter system on the top. So the water runs down into their, uh, their pipe system, and it's collected for drinking. Naturally filtered, too. Very, very cool. And if you notice, all the buildings are exactly the same. Each building is responsible for its own drinking water. So, pretty smart idea if you ask me. They, they seem to be onto something. Let's walk down here on this little dock. The water looks pretty nice, so let's go check this place out. Someone told me that there was a, uh, a sunken boat out here you can swim out to. Again, ill-prepared Sean did not bring swimming trunks like an idiot. So I can't swim out there and show you guys, but next time, for sure. Let's walk out here and check this place out. I see life. I see life. Lots of little minnows. I noticed last night on the menu there was a lot of wahoo. So I think they, uh, they probably have a significant wahoo population around the area. Wahoo are fun fish to catch. Pretty nice water. You can see somebody out there swimming. I wish it was me. And I also heard that that bridge over there during hurricanes, I think I, I told you guys earlier, that bridge is the only way over to the airport. During hurricanes, that thing floods out and you can't drive across it. So then what? How do you get to the airport? That doesn't sound like a good idea. But the water filtration on the roof, that's a good idea. I like that. Look at this beach, guys. This is like a commercial. Like I feel like I should be in a, in a commercial for some fancy resort or something like that. I guess it is kind of a fancy resort that I'm staying at. But look at this. This is just perfect. I feel bad walking on it right now just because the sand is so nice. Look at this thing. How spectacular is this place? I'm gonna have to come back here with the wife and kids, guys. I'm gonna have to bring them back. 
because this is the place I want to check out for about three or four days and have some time to relax. So I think I'm going to find myself a little chair over here, relax, sit down, watch the water go by, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. All right, I lied. I didn't sit down on the beach. I kept walking down the beach and uh, came on to this little, little uh, they call it the Purity Pergola, little gazebo over here on the water. Really, really nice. And I'm looking over here right now, I'll show you guys in a second. There's a, a, an overhang. It looks like it what goes into the, uh, into the cavern system, perhaps, over here. And, uh, and I noticed there is a massive school of fish. I think these, I don't know what these are, some kind of snapper or something. Let me see if you guys can even see it. I don't know if you guys can see these, but there is a huge school of fish over here. There's one over there. That guy's got to be 16, 18 inches. I wish I had a fishing pole. But nothing seems to really be eaten too much because there's a huge school of bait fish over here as well. Look at that guy. Yeah, big old fat daddy right there. Put that guy on the barbecue grill. I don't know where that goes. Again, I wish I had some snorkel equipment. Jump in that place. Here's the, the bait fish. I don't know if you guys can see it or not with the reflection on the water, but there's just a huge, huge school of bait fish swimming around over here. Look at that. So if there was anything around here hungry, they'd be eating on that. If you look out, you can see kind of little splashes on the water. That school of bait fish goes all the way out there. So maybe I will sit down in the purity pergola here and relax. I gotta be careful though, I gotta leave here in a couple hours. I might fall asleep right here and not wake up. So um, anyway, this is a really cool spot guys. I'm very disappointed that I don't get to stay. I'm gonna walk a little bit more before I go back to the room, but I gotta go take a shower. I gotta get cleaned up, put my uniform back on and I gotta leave this place. Super, super bummed about it, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, definitely, if you ever come to Bermuda, I highly recommend this place. There's probably a ton more to see on the island that I don't even know about, but this is definitely a cool place to go check out. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna go, uh, go home, back to the 30 degrees up in the Northeast. Not happy. So yeah, anyway, keep living the corporate pilot life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. All right, I'm back. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I'm in that uh, natural spa area. I decided to take a little walk back in it. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys in here and check it out real quick. Um, not quite sure if we're supposed to or not, but we're gonna break the rules anyway. So uh, let's take a quick walk. It is really dark in here right now. So I've got my flashlight on. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let's go check it out. These are the little spa things. There's the water. Guys, this is just intense. Let's go for a little walk. Yeah, I could go in here for a little rub down. It's pretty humid in here though. Look at this. Nice little relaxation. This must have taken millions of years to build that columns. Oh, this one's about to connect too. And I say about meaning like in another couple million years. Yep. I could definitely hang out here for a couple days. No doubt about it. All right, we're gonna make our way out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I gotta go get ready to fly. See you guys.